So I hear a lot of talk about the red heifer and the end times. Let's find out what it actually means. Praise the Lord, if you've been around this walk for very many years, you've doubtless come across the uh, word red heifers and what that's all about. Well, there is an Old Testament scripture out of Numbers, the 19th chapter. The scripture is from Numbers 19 and 1. And the Lord spake unto Moses and unto Aaron, saying, This is the ordinance of the law which the Lord hath commanded, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, that they may bring thee a red heifer without spot, wherein is no blemish, and upon which never came yoke. The red heifer was to guarantee that the priests were clean against touching of a dead body. Now, of course, there's an awful lot to be gleaned here about why a red heifer versus any other heifer. Of course, every sacrifice in some way or shape speaks of the sacrifice of Jesus Christ, including the red heifer. But we're not going to go there today. What I want to talk about is the rarity of the red heifer. You know, it's for the lack of a red heifer that the Jews have not had sacrifices since the destruction of Jerusalem in 70 AD. Um, The problem is you just can't find one. In fact, if you pay attention to the picture that I'll show you, this cow that you're looking at would not be acceptable. Notice the tag in the ear. So there's something remarkable that has happened here recently. So as previously mentioned, It has to be a red heifer. Not a single hair on this entire animal can be white or any other color than red. Secondly, it cannot have a mark or a blemish in it. That includes a tag in the ear. It just so happened that in Texas here recently, they found five red heifers. And it also just so happened that the keeper of the cows who tags the cows was out during the discovery of these cows Otherwise, he would have tagged every one of the five, and none of them would have qualified. It just so happened he was out with COVID, and he did not tag those cows that day as he was, as he would have done otherwise. So all five of these cows have been sent to Israel. Now, it's been over 2,000 years since they found any qualifying cattle for this most necessary of rituals. If you were paying attention to yesterday's video, you learned also about the great river Euphrates drying up for the first time in the history of mankind. These are just a few of the signs that we will go over in future Bible studies that prove beyond any reasonable shadow of a doubt that Jesus Christ is preparing to come soon, much sooner than later, I believe. Amen. But let's say that we're all off, that Jesus isn't going to come soon. The worst case scenario is you act right. You get your life right. You ask God forgiveness of sins. You get victory over those sins. And you live a happy life for the rest of your life. Even if Jesus doesn't come, the best plan of action is to make yourself ready. Because regardless of the time, the second coming or the death of the flesh, He is going to be coming sooner than you expect, and you will stand face to face before the great God and Savior, even Jesus Christ. So make yourself ready. I don't imagine that this will be the last time I'll have something to say about the red heifers. May God keep and watch you in Jesus' name. Amen. Please listen for a quick message at the end of this video. First of all, I want to sincerely thank you for watching this video and any videos you have seen. If the algorithm has brought you to the video, I pray that you will ask the Lord if maybe He is not directing you to watch these videos to get a good handle on the things of God. My dedication is to you that I am going to make a video every day for 2023. So you've got about six months of videos behind me and six months ahead of me. Amen. But I hope to hear from you. I treasure your comments and your thoughts. May God keep and watch over you in Jesus' name.